Back on our show this Wednesday, it's great to have Chris Patterson back with us, back with us the city of Alexandria's recreation director. He's getting ready for a busy summer. So, uh, Chris, welcome back. Good to have you. Thank you. It's a nice setup. I Does <laughs> you like it? Yeah. Good. You feel comfortable? Yes, I do. Yeah. And speaking of feeling comfortable, you've been here now a little over a year. We a little were talking over a, year. a minute ago. Yep. It seems like yesterday when we were here without summer, starting <laughs> up last summer's deal. Well, tell us why you're here today. What's going on in the city of Alexandria? Uh, we're gearing up for another summer. Right. Um, we learned from last summer. We had some little tricks we learned. Uh, had after school programs. Got to meet with all the youth. Mm -hmm. Prepare for this summer. And it is a preparation. It's not just a time that something starts in June and we just go out there and help. Wouldn't and, that be uh, easy if that would be the case? It would be. <laughs> it would be. But, but that's not the case. Tell us, so tell us the details it, of the plan. Well, basically, uh, Tuesdays and Thursdays, uh, we have mobile recreation. We did this last year. We Rec visited. To you. Rec to you. Yeah. And yeah, uh, we visited. Here's a video from last year, I believe. Yeah, we, we visited all the parks and it was a neat little experience. And um, in the last, I would say, six months, you know, there's been kind of an increase in different neighborhoods and, and some type of juvenile delinquency is the mm -hmm. best way to say it. And this past year also gave me an opportunity to uh, work with community policing. And they're part of our team. It's, it's the recreation department, but right. we can't do it without them and Safe Alex as well. So this year what we've done is gotten together with them, with community policing officers, and kind of identifying, I call them hot spots, but for recreation, it's like areas where you know the kids need to get out there and they want to have fun, they want to be active. Uh, matter of fact, this morning, just before I came here, one of the officers hunted me down. <laughs> he did, he saw my expedition and he, he pulled up, he gave me a little piece of paper and said, uh -huh. I, I found two areas where we need to do it. Huh. And so, I mean, it, it... It means it's working. Yeah, well, I mean, to come to this interview and then have them do that. Right. Uh, so what we'll do is, is on Mondays, we'll identify um, sports areas. Okay. Mm -hmm. We'll set up signs and we'll let the neighborhood know that we have seven on seven flag football or we have basketball, whatever they'd like to play. How fun! It, it's different, but that came that idea kind of came from, I've always wanted to do it, but the ideas on how we're going to do it came from our kids in the after school program. Well, sometimes right. listening to the, what the kids want yep. pays off. It's the best thing to do. It yeah. is, and it keeps them occupied and focused, and they look forward to it. Now, unfortunately, we can't be at every park, but that would be a nice goal one day. Mm -hmm. We had talked about, I think the last time we had you on, about the, the pickleball. <laughs> Has that, uh, any, it, any news on that? It's uh, controlled growth. Controlled growth. What does that yeah. mean exactly, controlled growth? We're, uh, in the last year we've been building the recreation department. Uh, the mayor's been really, really strong about that. And um, pickleball is such a fast growing sport that I don't want to open up the doors with not, a mu not as much staff as we had. Right. Uh, we have several more new employees coming on mm -hmm. and that's really going to open the doors for us. So I'd rather have a quality program than about 100 people out there with just a couple. Right. I don't play pickleball. <laughs> well, we've been hearing um, a lot about pickleball lately. Well, so. Roger, Roger Breedlove, Breedlove is yeah. a volunteer, and he's been very instrumental in uh, helping us out. But um, we're getting more seniors' activities. Mm -hmm. We just started flag football uh, for wow. adults. Uh, finished our first softball season in so many years. Yeah, I've noticed uh, both uh, softball fields very active. Right? Yeah, very active, which increases our um, our maintenance. Mm -hmm. um, but we're focusing on new areas. It's not just parks. It's open spaces that city owns and um, anywhere kids are. Uh, if you see a bunch of portable basketball rims on streets, kids are playing, you it gets dangerous. Yeah, so we're going to shut down some streets on Wednesdays and we're going to have three on three basketball tournaments around town. That's wonderful that you're able to get the kids out and keep them involved and um, you've done a lot in your short time with us. Well, thanks. I wish I could do a little bit more, but um, <laughs> it's kind of a dream come true for most people to be able to go out there and have recreation with kids, it's not really a hard job. Yeah. Uh, you mean you get paid for that? <laughs> pretty much. <laughs> Needs to pay the bills. Needs yeah, to pay the bills. It's a good way to pay it. Uh, Chris, if people need to get hold of you, the best way to get in touch? I, I know um, it's dreadful to put out cell numbers, but I am going to get my cell number. <laughs> if they don't get tossed around different phones, it's 318-664-5803. Uh, uh -huh. And people in my profession are probably watching right now saying, you just made oh. a mistake. And it, <laughs> no, we're, we want to be accessible to the community. And hey. that's where I get the ideas, and that's where I get support. A lot of volunteers call. What a wonderful cause. Thank you so much for being Thank with you. us Thank you. Appreciate it. Look forward to having you more during the summer. We definitely will. Good. More to come on our show, uh, the Rapids uh, Senior Citizen Center. We'll see what's going on with uh, the Central District Senior Games.